the cover. And after taking the screws, this box, this cover, you should be able to run over and push it forward. And then you have a plug there that you're just gonna press to the sides and it will come out. Again, you unplug that in there. Of this piece, you should be able to I set it underneath my cart and now we're gonna get into the right side of the machine and we're gonna try to remove this dust cover again this should be done at least once a year I found out by using a flat screwdriver and placing it here and gently twisting it because this material is like a plastic and you should be able to remove the little tabs out unless you want to make a tool with a horseshoe opening that you can actually slide in here and pry those things out make sure you keep them because they need to be put back in place again I went ahead and slide this in here gently twist and I got to remove this little plastic sleeves in there now previously last year when I we did the cleaning on it and gently remove this tape here that helps clean and seal this thing up a little bit more so you don't get as much dust in here even though we try to put it in now on a, in a sealed room and then we still get the dust so in other words peel this out here gently this tape I got the tape off now you can actually you don't have to take this cable out you don't need to you can actually start peeking in there to see the, um, the inside of the machine. We have to take this all the way to the bottom so you can sneak up underneath here and actually see the mirrors that we need to uh, clean. Okay, sorry about that. I got the, the top piece off. We took it all the way to the side of here, took the bottom piece down. Now this cable here is going to give you a little issues. If you want, you can disconnect it. I'm a little bit lazy to do that. Or not lazy, I don't want to... I like touching the, the board that much. And the thing is pretty sensitive, but if you can, you can see the mirrors right here. That's one of the mirrors right there. Now you can move it around. And very basically, I like to use a cotton ball on a Q-tip with a little, you know, with the cotton tip on it and damp it in a little bit of alcohol, clean it, give it a one or two swipes on each side, and that should be good enough. You don't want to overdo this thing and uh, create a mess in here. So um, just, like again, just lightly, two or three swipes and you can close it. If you want to be a little bit more curious, you can put a pair of loops on, put a light on it, and if you don't see any smudges or any dust, you know you did the job. One of the products that I recommend to use to do this procedure is just a regular lens or a glass cleaner. Like we picked up this one at Walgreens. And you can use a chamois like this. Obviously nice and clean or the q-tips combination with this too and it works wonderful you can use a smaller mirror so you can actually take a peek in there and see the mirrors like uh, you see the two mirrors the uh, one hanging 
straight down and the one attached to the small little cylinder. They twist so you can clean the front and the back of them. You can see them right there. And again with the Q-tip and, uh, and the lens cleaner. The red one doesn't have it? That's small? No, I don't think so. 